Hey guys welcome back to the movie summary. Beginning of the movie, we see a student named Barney. He is doing experiments on mice in the school lab. Just then Barney's best friend Peyton arrives. In that lab, Barney grows some plants for research. But what Barney doesn't know is that Peyton grows his own weed plants alongside those plants. After a while it is school assembly time and they leave for the assembly. Along the way, Peyton bullies Jane. She is prettiest girl at school. Actually Peyton is a rich kid. Therefore he is not afraid of anyone. The principal then gathers them together and asks Barney how far his plant experiment has come. Barney says that the experiment will go ahead successfully. In the assembly the principal says, seniors have the last days left in this college. We have our last baseball game against another team. We have to win it somehow. Jane is ready with her team to cheer on the baseball team. After the assembly, Peyton goes to Miss Updike and says that you have to take your photos again for the senior audition. Then they both go into a room together. Peyton takes pictures. Then we get to know that they are having an affair. On the other hand, Barney is doing experiments in his lab. And the school coach Dex comes in for his whiskey. While Dex is taking his bottle of whiskey, the chemicals in the front of the whiskey accidentally mix with other chemicals. The coach won't tell Barney about this. Therefore, Barney did not know that the chemicals were mixed. Just then Peyton comes there and the coach leaves. Peyton pours beer into Barney's chemical without his knowledge. Barney then uses the chemicals on a rat. Just then, Burnham arrives there to interview Barney for the senior audition. Peyton says that Barney is now busy with the experiment. After a while, the chemical drinking rat gets some powers. Seeing that, Barney gives the rat some more chemicals. Then by mistake that chemical falls on Barney. That's why Barney faints in the lab. After waking up he goes to his house. His parents used to scold him for coming home late. The next day at school, Berna tries to interview Barney again. But now it's time for the class, everyone goes to the classroom. Just then Jane also enters the classroom. Barney and Peyton look at Jane in class. After class, Peyton tells Barney that we should talk to Jane anyway. Later, Peyton asks Jane if you wants to go out with me on Saturday night. To that Jane says I am going to the movie with Robert that day. At the same time Barney is looking at Jane's dress. Suddenly Jane's top buttons are blown away. Jane screams. Soon Jane's boyfriend Robert arrives and asks Barney and Peyton what happened. Barney and Peyton tells we did nothing. Later Robert takes Jane from there. Seeing all this, Barney feels strange. After going into the lab, he is understood that Barney has an unknown power. That is, he can move objects without touching them. Burnett and Peyton watch all this from the outside. They will be shocked to see this. Soon they both go to the bar together and ask what is all this. Then Barney says that this may have happened to me because of some accident in the lab. And also he says you have to promise me that you won't tell anyone about this matter. Burnett and Peyton says okay to that. Then Barney goes home. Even today Barney comes home late and his mom tells him to stay in the room all night. Barney says okay and goes to his room. In the room, he uses his power to throw objects into the air. Just then, his mom comes into the room and a toy in the air falls on mom's legs. So she is very scared. The next day Berna approaches him to test Barney's powers for her research. Just then Peyton comes in and says to Barney why are you still here? I have a baseball match at our school today. Come and help me with your powers. Barney then goes to a baseball game. There he helps Peyton with his powers. Therefore Peyton's team will win that match. After the match, Peyton tries to talk to Jane. But then Robert comes there. Robert's friends harass Barney on his way home. Then he punish them with the help of his power. Next day school principal and Miss Barnett come to see Barney's plant experiment. But the lab key is near the Barney. So Miss Barnhart goes into the lab through the window. Barney and Berna watch all this from the outside. Walking in, Miss Burnett is shocked to see the weed plants behind the plants. There is a chance that Barney and Peyton will go to jail for doing this. Miss Barnhart tells the principal what happened in lab. Immediately the principal went there and saw. But the weed plants were not there. Barney and Berna pull out the plants and burn them before the principal arrives. 
Next day students go to Magic Land for picnic. Barney and Berna become very close there. Barney also helps his friend Peyton in games. Here Peyton beats Robert in all games. So Robert goes home from there. Later Peyton takes Jane to his house. Peyton impresses Jane with his words, and they have make private time together. He also takes a photo of Jane without her knowledge. On the other hand, Barney and Berna also become very close. They also make private time in the lab. The next day, Jane leaves with Peyton, saying that whatever happened yesterday was a dream. On the other hand, Barney and Berna go to a restaurant. Meanwhile, Peyton comes there and says, Robert challenged us to a casino game. Let's go and beat him with your powers and win money. Barney says he can't come to the game because I am going to movie with Berna. But Peyton insists Barney come anyway. So Barney can't do anything and tells Berna that I have to go to the game today and can't come to the movie. Hearing that, Berna gets very angry and curses that you are a gambler and leaves. That night, Barney and Peyton go to the casino to play. There Barney defeats Robert with his powers. He then calls Berna, but she doesn't lift. So Barney goes to the lab and drink a lot. The next day morning, when he came out of the lab, he saw that arrangements were being made for the senior prom party that night. Meanwhile, Berna meets Barney. Then Barney apologizes to Berna for not coming to the movie. Berna forgives him. Barney asks her if you will come with me to the senior prom party today. Berna says okay to that. Everyone is enjoying the party. Their Peyton gets prom king and Jane gets prom queen awards. After that they both dance together. On the other hand Berna also comes to the party. Seeing her beauty. Barney goes near her and dances. Peyton unable to see Robert and Jane being together at the party. He shows Robert a photo of Jane being physical with him. Seeing that, Robert gets angry and hits Peyton. Seeing Peyton being beaten, Barney gets angry and uses his power to untie Jane's dress. Then Jane hits Barney over the head with a watermelon. An intoxicated Barney undresses all the boys and girls at the party. Seeing that Berna laughs. Just then a pipe falls and hits the Barney on the head. Soon he loses consciousness. When Barney wakes up and checks his powers, they don't work. After all this, Barney gives Berna a kiss and flies into the air saying he will drop you at your house. This means that Barney has not lost any of his powers here, but he pretends to have lost them in front of Peyton. This is how this movie ends.